This is Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And it's nice to have you again on this exciting episode of Bliss Talk. And uh, there's this quote uh, that, that excites me that I need to share with everyone listening in. In every marriage more than a week old, there are grounds for divorce. The trick is to find and continue to find grounds for marriage. This quote is from Robert Anderson, Solitaire and Double Solitaire. That's, his, that's the title of the book. <laughs> that I just got. And this is Bliss Talk. And as usual, I have in the studio with me, Dr. Tonya Smart. Dr. Tonya Smart is uh, she's, a, she's a graduate of chemistry. She had a second degree in chemistry and she had a doctorate degree in counseling psychology. So she has a database of information that will help you to make sure your, your marriage is as the endless bliss. Dr. Tony Asmat, it's nice to have you on this show again. Thank you, Demola. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Now, today on Bliss Talk, we will be talking about keys to making your husband love you. A lot of a lot of women do not know how to keep their husbands glued to them. And it's, um, it's quite awesome that we have someone that will give you those tips that will make your husband love you. Don't go anywhere. Let's listen to May Call, Pain Me, and we'll be right back. This is still Bliss Talk. On the backstage story show on Nollywood Radio France. Let me let me take these uh, six tips, and then we we'll go on from there. How to make keys to making your husband love you? According to uh, Yamula, there's a there's a Yamula. I got this from the internet. It says discover his favorite pet name and call him by that. Allow him exercise his authority as the head of the family. Do not challenge him when he is hurt. Be silent when he is angry. You can go back to him in a sober moment with apology and explain why you behave that way that annoyed him. Be quick to say, I am sorry, dear. Whenever you offend him, insist on his forgiveness and kiss him when he does. Wow. Tonya, <laughs> this topic is something that every woman would be looking up to. That's kiss. right keys to making your husband love you what keys did you apply to make your husband love you let's start from you well you've, you've taken the you've taken the best six the mother so I'm, I'm just going to continue from there um to make your husband love you first he needs to know that he's found something that is priceless and you're priceless that's why he has decided to take you as his wife and so you are his friend you are his helper you are his lover you are his confidant you are everything that he wants you to be and even more mm. and so you said it all the mullah when he's upset then you need to like be calm and every man will want to exercise his authority so don't ever make him feel that he's not in control and even if you're in control quotes because you are the neck moving the head you still need to let him exercise that authority and when he says he's sorry then you know reciprocate by loving him because it takes a man who is really confident of himself mm. to say that he's sorry all right, I am. Um, there's this. There's this popular saying that surprise him with his favorite dish, especially when he has no enough money at hand. You know, food. The uh, like. Uh, there's a popular Yoruba saying that uh, the way to the throat is the way. Uh, yeah, the way to a man's heart. <laughs> the the like say, it's true. His stomach. It's true. His stomach. Now, so, there's this. There's this thing about do not allow a maid to serve him food when you are at home because you may lose him to them. F serving, feeding your husband. Is it? Is there a? Is there a chemistry in in feeding your husband? And is there a chemical bond? Bonding. <laughs> Let's talk there, about <laughs> there, there is a chemical bonding because okay. they say the closer you are, if you take two magnets and you put them far from each other, okay. they're not going to attract each other. But the minute they come close, you begin to see the magnetic forces moving mm. them together. And so you cannot control that magnetic force. And once it keeps closing the gap, you see the magnets will now attract. North Pole will attract South and vice versa. So also in the relationship, the people you are close with, the people you spend more time with, the people you see. And remember, I keep saying Demola, that men are moved by what they see. Mm. So if they see the help caring more for them, than their wife, who is supposed to be their helper, their friend, their confidant, their lover, their presence, then you're already dividing the affection. Because if you're seeing the house help serving him every time, it should be an exception, not the rule. And sometimes a lot of people tell me, how do you manage it? I said, well, I manage it because I know the set time for dinner. And anywhere that I am, I need to know that dinner has to be served at this time. So it doesn't matter how beautiful I'm looking because you did say I was looking beautiful. <laughs> you know, once I get home, shoes go to where they go to mm. and I'm there to make sure that food it's is served, served when it should be. So it's it's very key. Every man loves to have a good meal and not just having a good meal, having a good meal and sharing it in love with okay. somebody. So if you delegate that, I'm not against delegating it, but it shouldn't be over delegation. Some people just like house help, 
do this for daddy, do that for daddy. Then you've seen cases of men sleeping with their house helps and even sending away the matrimonial wife hmm. and bringing the house help to be their legitimate wife because, because she's because the one. Food? Yes, she's the one who will cook. She's the one who will know that daddy's <laughs> bed sheets need to be changed. Wow. His clothes need to be washed and ironed. Even if you're not doing them yourself hmm. and you're having, you know, helps to do them, you must also be able to order that relationship. When they iron it, you're the one who's going to put in the wardrobe. Make sure you put them nice away. And then when he wants them, you make sure you get them out for him. You know, when he's dressing up, be there with him. Look at his tie. Look at how he's putting on his belt. Even if you don't have anything to do, touch him. Hmm. Because all of those, you know, affection show that you care. It shows that you've these decades, these decades, you you had a lot of learning. I, <laughs> I did. Hope, I hope the ladies are learning from you I now. I hope so. I hope so. The all right. Now, um, still talking about food. Now, a lot of men want good food, and some women, probably because of education or because of uh, the um, civilization, a lot of people don't seem to stay in the kitchen with their mother before getting married to learn some of those dishes that would be very good. You know, what do you have to say about steel food? How does a woman have to learn? Even if it means she didn't learn when she was in school and she's married now. Is there a way or is there any institute that a woman can actually go to and learn those things? Does she have that kind of time? Do you think the man will be patient to, to make her make those mistakes and then allow her to go back and, and learn? Part of planning to get married is that if you don't have those skills, because when you are single, you have more free time to okay. yourself. So you spend more of that free time learning the things that you don't, um, learning the skills that you don't have. Okay. And if cooking is one of them, they need to enroll in a catering school. I did catering hmm. up till school cert. Hmm. And that's why, apart from doing catering that's up till school cert, <laughs> I, I've attended um, cake making courses when I was much, much younger. Okay. I've, you know, taken part in a uh, Maggie cooking competition in two wow, instances. Wow, um, wow. Fourth position on boats. I tried so hard to get into a third place. <laughs> I didn't make it at the finals. I also came um, okay. fourth. Um, so, you know, you must invest in what if I love to sew, but I'm not a good um, seamstress, but at least I can put a piece together. I can sew a button if it falls off. There's some ladies, if a button falls off, they don't even know how to put a, need, um, a thread to a needle. Hmm. because they didn't learn all of those things hmm. and it doesn't matter whether you you didn't know them when you were growing up the fact is that now you want to be a responsible wife you need to know all of those things children are going to for instance you have your son who is going to school and he's trying to put on his button and all of a sudden the button falls off you can fix it immediately or you can fix it while he's gone to school and you put on another one so you must invest in skills that you don't have so if you can't cook there's so many cooking schools out there invest while you're at it before marriage preferably and if it's after marriage then which means you're going to have to play around with a lot of your free time because mm. you will not have as much free time as you would have had when you were single all right this is bliss talk on the backstage story show on nollywood radio france uh don't go anywhere we're still here let's listen to bimi debiri by arifik and we'll be right back after the short music break yes you're still tuned to bliss talk on the backstage story show on nollywood radio france and you've been listening to the voice of dr mrs tonya smart she's from sapele in delta state married to a yoruba man and she has a degree in chemistry she also has a second degree in chemistry and a phd uh, she has an MBA in management and a PhD in counseling psychology from Evangel University, Monroe, USA. Uh, Tonya, it's nice to have you here. And, and all so this information, I hope I can contain this information. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, now let's talk about apology. Some women, you, have, you need to give a lot of women advice. Even if your man is at fault, being heady, does it, does it help in any way in a relationship? Being apologetic. Even at the point that you know that, oh, I don't want to swallow my pride. A woman has to swallow the pride and say, okay, I'm sorry, just for the peace of the home. What do you have to say about this? Well, that's very right, Demola, because um, two people cannot be burning at the same time. You only just end up burning your candle on both sides and, you know, extinguish the marriage faster than you had imagined. So if one party is hurt, again, it comes to communication. But you're not communicating at that time when everybody is high and tempers are flying. No, you let things calm down and that's why they say the best part is in the evening when you're calm and then you can now say oh this is where i'm hurting but you must communicate that as well there's no point in bottling it up and say you don't want to talk about it and then you're hurting and at the end of the day you end up you know causing more harm to yourself mm. than doing yourself any good so yes you cannot quarrel with the man he's the head of the home he takes full responsibilities and even if he's wrong He's not going to openly tell you that he's wrong. Okay. So you need to understand that as well. So, But in your quiet time, 
you find a way of getting him to know that you're hurting. And like I said, if he's a nice person, he's going to say he's sorry. But don't rub it in and say, well, because he said he's sorry, that means, you know, he's not man. Enough. No, he's not. Okay. It's not that. All right. In a previous episode, we talked about male chauvinism. Uh, and uh, I mentioned about being domineering. Now, allowing a man's authority in the home is also part of something that I think will make your husband love you. Now, the wife earns more than the husband. She works in a bank, and probably the husband is, uh, is an entrepreneur that is not earning as much as the, as the wife. Authority in the home and making your husband love you. It, despite the fact that you earn more than your husband, how, how do you think uh, it can rub off? First, like I said to somebody, money speaks and it takes a woman of great grace, if you're earning more than your husband, to still come low, leave all the pride, leave all the egoistic um, tendencies and love that man the way he is. So it doesn't matter what you earn. Mm. And it's not even about earning. Even in titles, I've been to a meeting and I sat down quietly, you know, until I was called up to speak. And when I was addressed as doctor and the chief host for the day, after we finished and we went to his office for drinks, and was like, you sat down calmly. I didn't even know you were a PhD holder. Mm. How does your husband feel? I said, my husband is not intimidated. I can have 10 PhDs. I can have 10 <laughs> masters. The fact <laughs> remains that all of that is for my head. Mm. As far as he gets home, he has a wife, he has a friend, and that is what is important. So it's not really sometimes about money. Some people don't even have money, but they are pride you know, doesn't allow the man to want to spend time with her. And that's why you see the men going out and just coming home. Mm. Home is like a place to sleep. Home should be a place where you want to be loved. Okay. And you need to work to get him to love you All right. and love home. Okay. There's this question about uh, husband and wife having separate rooms. I Some school of thought believe that will not make the bonding, the, chemi the chemistry between them to be strong enough. Staying in separate rooms... And sometimes the, the woman has to scrub his back in the bathroom. But meanwhile, he has jumped into the bathroom and he has done what he has to do and he's out of the house. What do you have to say about staying in separate rooms and how it's going to affect the bonding in a marriage? Well, I come from a family where my parents stayed in the same room. So maybe that um, fashioned my views on, you know, intimacy within your rooms. And so I'm of the school of thought that you must stay in the same room with your husband. Some women say, well, you need your privacy. You need a place where your friends come and they can meet with you and you can just, you know, have your girl talk. Yes, maybe if you have enough space in your house, then you can give yourself that luxury. But if you are staying in a three-bedroom apartment, you can't have one room to yourself, one room for daddy and then one room for the children. Where will family members and other people stay? So if you have the luxury of space, yes, you can have your own room, but you stay in your husband's room, your clothes are in your husband's room, and you sleep in his room every day. So <laughs> that way he sees you and you see him. Hmm. And just being together hmm. is enough bonding that you would even be, you just take for granted most times, but that bond is still there. Because when you're not there and he wakes up and you travel and he knows that something is missing, that bed space is empty. By the time he rolls and touches that side, oh, and he remembers, oh, my wife is not around. <laughs> so you will be missed more. All right. When you even take a short break than you would even imagine. Hmm. But if you're in different rooms, if it's like, you know, you're not even close by. So hmm. if I just even need you to And if he gets even, used to that too much, then there will you be know, chemistry. Okay. It's just closeness all right. that brings this all of those This is still things. Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And I have been speaking with Tony Asmat. Tony Asmat has been really, really delving into these issues. Now, let's talk about smile, hug, and kiss. And its role in in husband wife bond how to make your husband love you a smile a kiss and a hug what effect do they have chemically on the body <laughs> first that's your breakfast whether you like it or not and that is your night cap so hmm. is your breakfast is your night cap you hug him in the morning you kiss him when he's going to work and you smile at him and, and kiss him, him when he's angry too when he's going no, you don't kiss him when you're angry because then he's not loving you <laughs> But you kiss him when he's calm and then he's able to understand that you're still loving him even in all of that. So the okay. kiss, the hug, the smile is a take every morning and you end it at the end of the day before you go to bed. Yeah, talking that from experience. <laughs> yeah, because he needs to know. If you don't tell your husband, I love you, somebody out there is going to love him. If you don't tell him he's sweet, he's beautiful, or he doesn't tell you you're looking beautiful, mm. no, no, um, somebody out there is going to do it for you too. 
And it's what you hear that moves you and makes you happy. It's what he sees. He sees you loving him. It makes him happy. If you don't love him, you've heard of secretaries, you know, taking Mm -hmm. husbands. Why? Because she's showing concern. She's showing affection. So you need to show that concern. You need to show that affection. Mm -hmm. And some people will argue and say, well, the man who will be wayward will be wayward. But I ask them, if you don't give room for that waywardness, then how is it going to come? into play. All right. Um, we're going to be talking about this um, topic, uh, sex, in an exclusive um, episode. But the role of sex in making your husband love you. How much sex do you think a woman needs to give a man or a man needs to give a woman to balance <laughs> the relationship? We'll talk about because this is the, es- this is the essence of, of this uh, discourse. Well, it, it depends. Some people say it's um, Dara Prim. It's once a week <laughs> if it works for you. Some people say it's Panadol, two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two in the evening, if it works for you. But the bottom line is your chemistry, let it be there, you know. It's not really so much about sex because I said to you the other time, I said sex is staying in emotional ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And it's not the intercourse really that makes you to stay in emotional ecstasy. It's even just the holding, the cuddling. You might just even just be together without Mm -hmm. any deep... Okay. You know, intimacy okay. and you're feeling the bond, you're feeling the um, oneness. Okay. So it's it's what really makes you happy. And I've been to a forum where women say, you can't ask your husband to make love to you. And I scream and I shout and I'm like, what is wrong? It's a chemistry thing. If you feel like, fine, then you get him excited. Just like if he feels like he gets you okay. excited. But both of you must, you know, be agreeable to what is best for you. So if, like I said, if it's elastic every day, fine. Yeah. If it's once a week, if it's okay with you Depends and if it's every you. day <laughs> so go ahead all right this is bliss talk on the backstage story show on nollywood radio france i hope you've been enjoying our discussion and uh, i've been talking with tonia she's a marriage counselor and she has a lot of experience let's listen to olaju by sojegs and we will be right back olaju by sojegs this is still bliss talk and we're still talking Keys to making your husband love you. And uh, I, I think it should reciprocate too. Keys to making your wife love you too. Now let's talk about m- the man. What are the things we need to know about a woman to induce them to love us? First, you need to love a woman and say it. I keep emphasizing say it. Some men will say, well, she knows that I love her. Well, she knows, but then say it. Okay. Because it's what she hears that will make her excited. So don't get it's tired what of she saying. Makes her yes, okay. don't get tired of saying, and then spend quality time with her. Mm. It's not just sit at home. Oh, I'm at home. I'm reading my newspaper. That's not communication. Mm. That's not spending time with her. You're at home watching your football. Yes, you can both watch the football together. And I always tell people, I say, I watch so much ball now that I know all the players. Don't ask me their clubs. I know them by names. <laughs> but I could call one player and say he's in Manchester. Meanwhile, he's moved to Barcelona <laughs> and all of that. But I show an interest. So. Mm. Show an interest too. And women also make them feel that they are part of you. Okay. If you love football, make her love football with you. Okay. If you love sports, make her love sports. Create time for her. Mm-hmm. It's not just work, work. Yes, I'm giving her the money. She's comfortable. It's not about the comfort. It's about togetherness. Mm-hmm. Let her feel that she's a part of your life. Let her feel that she means more to you than just a showpiece in your house Mm. so make out time to spend with her if it's a short vacation if it's you know just time out together Mm. go watch a movie just go for a dinner let her feel that uniqueness that she's special to me so even if you see him with another woman you're not um afraid because you know that in his heart you have a place that is very solid and you know you're happy that this person is proud to say i am his wife wow Wow, I am wowed by your 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 responses. Now let's talk about let's talk about bonding. Before the marriage, we go out together, we do things together, and then after marriage, is it familiarity that reduces some of those things we do? That you know that re- is it is it is it familiarity or neglect, or do we say we we are busy, we are too busy, or we don't see that beauty anymore? <laughs> well, it's not familiarity, it's not neglect, it's not you don't see it. It's just that, you know, as you grow, a lot of things come into play to take your time. As a young couple, it's just the two of you, and then the children come. So mommy is busy with children. 
she's busy with school runs. You're also busy that the family is getting enlarged. So you need to you know, work more um, to get more income for the family so that children can go to good schools. You know, you can have fun together and all of that. So responsibilities, let me say, really take so much of your time. And that's why I said you need to work out the me and you time, husband and wife. You need to spend time. I remember there was a time a husband, my husband's friend saw us in a restaurant and he called my husband and he said, happy anniversary. My husband was like, happy anniversary. It wasn't our anniversary. <laughs> but he just couldn't understand that. We left our house hmm. and we went out to eat. Hmm. And I'm like, we just sit down in the restaurant. We'll be there for an hour, an hour and a half. You know, just talking. And by the time you come home, you see, you're more relaxed. You're more refreshed. And then, you know, you're more vibrant into that relationship. So it's not about programming. And that's why I always say that we are blessed in this part of the world you know having public holidays so you can create avenues when there are holidays you can create times you know to just be together even if it's just for a whole day you know mm -hmm. just doing your own girl boy stuff as it was when it was just the two of you okay. at the beginning because there will never be any two of you until all the children are grown up and then you have to <laughs> now like my friend would say Recycle. you know <laughs> yes you now begin to do the grandmother thing i want mm -hmm. to go and see this so you know you just create that unique time for yourselves mm -hmm. It might be a holiday, it might be a stay in, it might be a visit out, just just the two of you, just okay. the two of you, because your baggages will still be there when you come back anyway. <laughs> All right, this is still Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France, and we've been talking about keys to making your husband love you, and it's been exciting, but we cannot exhaust all this. So, we have limited time, limited recording time, or limited time in the studio, and you need to call, you need to call Tonya to find out more. Tonya, let's have your number. You can reach me on 234-816-654-6231. 234-816-654-6231. And your email? And my email is tonya.smart at yorkcityltd.com. That's tonya.smart at yorkcityltd.com. All right. And if you want to reach me, you can reach me on demola.sonyaolu at gmail.com demola.sonyaolu at gmail.com and you can also call me on 234-809-872-6926 that is 234-809-872-6926 now before we go um, rekindling the bond in the marriage with these uh, keys to making your husband love you how do we how do you think generally uh, what, what major tips can you give to rekindle, rekindle that fire of bond? Well, like I've always said, men are moved by what they see, so make yourself very attractive. Okay. And not just attractive on the outside, but attractive on the inside. I've heard men say to me that my wife dresses so well, but you don't want to see what is underneath. So take um, interest in what you wear in your undies, okay. not just only on your out um, clothes as well, because again, like I say, that's the first point they see. So mm. On this should be very, very attractive and should be good and, you know, in decent... Um, you mean you should do a laundry, a laun you go to a laundry and buy some... Yeah, if you need to, <laughs> you, you should you should make the inside um, as clean as the outside. It's not mm. just wearing the best outside and what is underneath is not wow. appealing. And then, of course, your general appearance as a lady, mm. good grooming, your hair should be nice. Some people, when you see their hair, you'll be wondering, you know, so... You don't need to put up so much makeup, but at least look nice, look um, presentable. Okay. So when he sees you and he looks at you, he's like, ah, oh, Milele, <laughs> I paid money to bring this one to my mother to All say right. this is a wife. So <laughs> it's it's um, important. Look good, okay. um, dress well, and then let him live his fantasies. All right, let this is Let's Talk on the Backstage Story Show. Let him live his fantasies. Do good, dress well, be attractive. Be good inside, be good outside, right. be attractive, do everything to make him happy. Now, there's one other point I want to raise. Dressing and undressing your husband is going to work in the morning, even if it's just adjusting the tie. And then when he comes back, you, you help him take off the jacket, his shoes and all that. What role does that have in the bonding? Very big role, very big role. Sometimes when he's bending the collar of his shirt, even if he's doing it right, just put your hand, just show that... You have an interest that you're looking out for his well-being, mm. you know. So in the morning, you can do that if time permits, if you are not both, you know, flying um, across one end of town to the other. Okay. And then, of course, in the evening, as he's coming, he's taking off his shoes, you you know, give him a foot massage, massage his shoulders as he's taking off his shirt. Wow. 
you know, help him to take down the buttings. And he will know that, you know, you care about him. Hmm. Might not be every day, but it should be most of the days, I'm telling you. It should wow. be most of the days. It should days. be most of the days. Yeah. I've been enjoying myself and uh, a lot of people in the studio are laughing and they're enjoying, they're enjoying this episode of Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And we'll be talking about keys to making your husband love you. And I've been, uh, with me in the studio has been Tony Asmat. Tony Asmat has a, a pedigree uh, in, in uh, marriage counseling over the years. She's also married for over two decades. And it shows from what she has said, from everything she has said, you will know she has a wealth of experience and she can also uh, be your confidant. You can call her. She has dropped a line. You can call her and reach her on email. All right. This is Bliss Talk on the Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And with me in the studio that has been making this episode very exciting, Tony Arifayo has been a very good productive assistant. She has been working behind the scenes to make sure everything goes as a when due. And uh, I also have a friend of mine around. Uh, your Tony has been helping me out in this in this work too. Now, Tonya, on a very final note, what do you have to say to ladies out there that have issues with making their husband love them, despite whatever, no matter what the conflict No matter what the conflict may be, love your husband. If you truly want that marriage to work, you're going to make the sacrifice and the sacrifice is to love him for who he is, not what you have in your mind, not what you're told, not what you think, but love him for who he is and that way you'll enjoy marital bliss. All right, love him for who he is, and that way you will enjoy your marital bliss. This is Bliss Talk on Backstage Story Show on Nollywood Radio France. And until I meet you again on the next exciting episode of Bliss Talk, let's listen to Lamborghini. And uh, remember, you can download and install uh, Nollywood Radio France and listen to all our episodes online by just going to Google Play Store, search for search for uh, the uh, app for Nollywood Radio's France show, download, install, and you're live on all our programs. Uh, until I meet you again on the next exciting episode. Now, um, Tonya, I need you to drop your line again before we go. Well, you can reach me on 234-816-654-6231. 234-816-654-6231. The email is tonya.smart at yorkcityltd.com. Tonya.smart at yorkcityltd.com. All right, and I've been Demola Sonia Olu saying, keep well, do well, and stay atop your game. Bye.